And everyone, Megan with you here once again to talk about shareholders agreements and why they're important to you. Shareholder agreements are a pretty integral piece of the entrepreneurial puzzle because they shape and define how a company will be owned and managed. As you can imagine, these types of agreements can range from the relatively simple to the much more complex. We often begin our business ventures thinking of the good times ahead and less so thinking about the more challenging times. But like anything in life, you want to plan for your worst day as opposed to just leaving things to chance. In most cases, shareholder agreements can change over time and the amount of work required to make those changes can very well depend on the quality of where you started. If you don't determine clearly and effectively things like what you can and cannot do in a business arrangement, who can or cannot be a director, will you or will you not be issuing shares, how can you buy and sell those shares, what happens if a shareholder wants to leave the arrangement, what can you do to force a buyout or can you force a buyout? Can a shareholder be fired? And of course, how are disagreements going to be handled? A shocking number of businesses don't actually have such agreements in place. And as a law firm, the most common reasons that we see why this is, is usually that the initial cost associated with having this agreement put into place. But many people actually also have not discussed these finer details that make up this agreement and they want to avoid the conversation. Alternatively, the entrepreneurial spirit often tells us that we want to do things ourselves, but there's some pretty large pitfalls to taking on this legal work yourself. So while you may want to avoid paying the relatively small amount of money up front, this could actually save you several thousands of litigation down the line. This is not to mention that your articles of incorporation are actually public information, whereas your shareholders agreement is private. It's much more difficult to make changes to public filings where it's much easier to scrap a shareholder agreement. So if this has piqued your interest and sparked further questions in any way, you can always reach out to me via email or send me a direct message here on LinkedIn. CEO Law always offers an approachable way for you to get your foundation in order so you can actually enjoy the finer parts of running your business. And on that note, I hope to hear from you soon, but enjoy the rest of your week and we'll talk to you soon.